Like, mm-hmm. I've got all this wedding ring clank. I'm like, sorry, sweetheart, I've got to play prog. <laughs> you don't even know what you're doing today. Wow. It is a delight to me. <laughs> okay, bass teacher, who are you? Hey, guys, my name is Sharon Reynold. I'm a bassist and producer, and I play for the Berkeley Indian Ensemble. And today I'm here with Ian, and he is going to be giving me a song to learn as fast as possible. And I have no idea what the song is. I'm so nervous. I am not going to give you something that's unplayable. I'm going to give you something that's very playable, but it's also challenging. And it might be a little hint to your past, something that you've told me about before. The song today that you have to play as fast as possible is a section of a dream theater song called Lines in the Sand. Crap. Now, look, are you familiar with Lines in the Sand by Dream Theater? I'm not familiar with that particular song. So the song is Lines in the Sand, featuring the incredible Doug Pinnock from King's X on vocals. This is actually from an album that has some controversy in the Dream Theater camp. There's a lot of fans that hated this record, but I wasn't one of them. I loved this album called Falling Into Infinity, came out in 1997. Peak Dream Theater fandom time for me. This is an uh, like a magnum opus of a song. It's actually 12 minutes and five seconds. Oh I my just looked. God. But there is this amazing riff. There's this amazing unison riff that climbs that they all lock up on near the end of the tune and then you're gonna have to learn it as fast as possible are you ready no (laughs) oh it's so good you're done for extra credit if you want to get this harmonic flurry I know. And by the way, if you want to learn this monstrosity that Sharon is diving into today, of course, we have a beautiful PDF workbook with all the tab and notation. It's in the description. Go grab it. Let's just talk about instrument choice for a second. John Young from Dream Theater. What does he play? Doesn't he play seven or six? Sharon, I think it might be time to dig that Warwick six string out of the closet. It's not in the closet, okay? (laughs) I love that bass. All right, I will be right back. Jerry, you moved. Oh, there it is. Also, I have to say, I love this riff. Like, this was a thing that I worked on, you know, like when this came out, I was so excited about it. So this is going to take a lot of restraint for me not to, like, play it with you. I'm going to do damsel in distress. I'm going to be like, Ian, (laughs) please. Don't do it. Show me the line. (laughs) Do not do that. I'm going to put the bass down. (laughs) It's all you. All right, I've got the track. So the software that I use to like transcribe is called Transcribe. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, you can slow it down. Now I think that might be against the rules, Sharon. Why is it against the rules? Okay, I'm gonna try and not slow it down. It's just easier to kind of scroll through a song and like I can loop it. So it's easier to do it here than like iTunes. So depending on what I have to learn it for, I would break it down differently. So if I have to transcribe it for a band, I would first figure out what like the time signature time changes are and kind of like notate everything. Yes. In this case, since I don't have to do that and I just have to learn a section, I probably wouldn't go that extra mile unless I have to explain it. And I would just learn it by feel. If you want to join me in learning this baseline, go download the PDF down in the description. (laughs) It just loops it? No, it can't be that simple. Ah. Right. And then it changes. Ooh. Nice ears, Shaz. Now comes the hard part. All right, there's either a time change or the drums is just changing, so it's messing with me. I'm going to choose to ignore that for now. Oh, it's so good. It's really good, right? It's one of my favorite moments. I am going to be very happy when I can play it. I'm not happy right now, but I will be happy. (laughs) Hey, and if you want to see more content like this where we're struggling to learn a baseline, like the video, subscribe to the channel so that we can make those videos a reality. 
I don't know about you, but I sort of feel like this is Dream Theater's Sir Duke. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like yes. this like diatonic, pentatonic riff, whereas like Stevie's is in B and it's really happy B major. This is in like D minor. Yeah. But it's kind of the same vibe. It reminds it's me of Sir, Sir Duke. Duke. Yeah, it's yeah. Prague Sir Duke. So far, what are you noticing like about the riff before it starts the climb? I've been paying attention to the guitar more than the bass because it's unison, so I haven't been paying attention to octaves as much. Interesting. That might be something that you should. Yeah. <laughs> I've been keeping my mouth shut. Because he's. Yes. Oh, oh you're closing in, Chess. Now, I don't know if he uses that string, though. It kind of like, oh, sounds kind of lame. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. You just hunted down that whole thing in pretty short order. About eight and a half minutes. Give yourself a pat on the back, Shaz. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> but now you do have to play it. But before you do talk about your process of transcription, I think that people think about like, oh, it's always writing it on paper. But what I heard you do is singing the notes. Yeah. And is that critical to you? Yeah, I sing it to memorize it a bit better and just kind of to give it context. And I'm faster learning it vocally voice I can rely on and I'll just figure it out from there. Let's go. <laughs> Nobody heard that. <laughs> Closing in. Like I want to join you, but I can't join you. Soon, soon. We're there. We're almost there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like that's extra credit just to do it from memory without the tune. <laughs> yeah! Wait, speaking of extra credit, what the hell is going on here? I have to tell you, I saw him do this once because I was like, how is that happening? And his hand barely moved. It was like all up here. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, hold on a second, Shaz. Before we move on to that, I feel like you got to play this with the tune. Are we doing this? Yeah, I think you should try it. The crazy thing is you played it by yourself. Actually playing it with the band sometimes is actually a little trickier. Yeah, and like when I'm playing it slower, there's like a section where I'm a little nervous and I slow it down and then suddenly yes. I'm slower for the rest of it. But that's good. That is how you have to learn. I think like learning something like this in time is not maybe the, the right move. It is good to slow stuff down. I would probably go to like 70 and then I would do... Right. And just kind of clean it up and like make sure that right. I'm like my muscle memory knows where it's going and like getting it clean. Yes. Um, and I would go up in steps. I love that for this challenge, you didn't slow it down. I don't think that slowing things down, and I know you don't either, is is against the rules. But for this challenge, it is against the rules. I agree. And you That's didn't fair. do it. And this is fast, but it's not like unobtainium fast. And it's singable, which means... Yes, agreed. I can grasp it a lot quicker with my voice. All right, let's do it. It's such it's a fun so thing to play good. on a six. Yeah, because it spans the whole instrument. Yes. Uh, hey, that was pretty nice. How'd you feel? I, I feel like I hit everything. There was one section that I would have preferred to not slide. I am not having a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. It's like you're in there and you haven't made a mistake. And then you're like, 
I know. I I know. It's crazy too because the whole thing is like this anxiety. It's like the roller coaster, right? It's like da, 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 da. like it's just climbing. <laughs> and every time you get it right, it's like oh. Shit. Oh, I know I got it. But if I fuck it up now, <laughs> then I have then I then I ruined everything up until now. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do yeah. it one more time, and you're gonna play with me. I don't remember. I don't. I mean, I haven't played it in a long time. <laughs> Spoke Shoot. too soon, Ian. Spoke too soon. Let me see if I remember. I mean, you've basically just taught it to me. One eternity later. Oh my God, it is really hard. Ah. Have I ever played the bass before? I have not. I'm gonna cheat. Can we do that? <laughs> that is brutal to me. You know what would be really helpful for me right now? Is the PDF workbook that we put together for you in the description. Don't forget to go grab it. Here we go. Money where my mouth is, stupid Ian. Stupid. This was so fun. What did you learn, Sharon, from having to learn that as fast as possible? Well, first of all, I learned Blind in the Sand by Dream Theater. <laughs> Honestly, I learned that I might be better than I think I am, which is great. It's Hell nice yeah. Confidence. That's staying in the video. <laughs> yes, you're better than you think you are. <laughs> and it always reminds me that I really actually should listen to more Dream Theater. There you go. Ian, why haven't we done a Dream Theater only video? Maybe that's coming. <laughs>